Hello and welcome back to Distant Worlds 2. We are continuing our playthrough here, trying to salvage an economy and also trying to grow our population, which is frighteningly low. So what we're trying right now is uh, just getting our fleet up to size after dealing with what we dealt with uh, last episode where we got attacked by our neighbors. We uh, fended them off, but we had to sell them our... Um, galaxy map which is fine but now I have to uh, rebuild the fleet and preferably start going after some of the um, hive ships that are harassing our systems like there's one there there's two there apparently another one just popped in and there's one there we just got to do whatever we can to keep it going all right so we gotta keep stealing tech to keep up with the rest of the game which I'm a little concerned about because we don't have a lot of, uh, once we finish stealing all the available techs, like the low hanging fruit, it starts getting very risky and very expensive to steal the tech. So I am uh, very worried about where this goes after I'm done stealing all the techs that are available here. All right, we'll do construction mega labs. And then we will also do rapid energy recharge. All right, build another research base. That's fine. I do have to build more construction ships. I only have, they keep getting destroyed by the hive ships. So I don't really have a lot available anymore. Yeah, we only have nine total right now. All right, so has the hive, they've at least stopped harassing us in this direction. Ah, they've started taking over more planets over here. Okay, so I think we just kind of wait at this point. Our, our economy, it seems to be cycling. Like, sometimes it's negative 24, sometimes it's negative 70. Oh, no, our agent got captured. Let's talk and get our spy back. You just resort these by name. So these are the bigger guy, right? Or is it this little guy? I think it might be the little guy. All right, we got our spy back. Although... Does he have any negative effects? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, we'll go with the robotic troops. That's pretty uh, low risk. All right, we'll keep building up uh, bases where we can. I don't know what's back here. I mean, they seem to be not getting back there. So, all right, we got energy mega labs. Well, we got some progress towards it anyway. So we'll just go after it again. Oh, here we go. There's another... Big baddie. All right, let's check out our fleet. I'm sure we're dealing with quite a bit of repairs going on. Let's zoom in here. Yeah, this is all queued for construction. I feel like for some reason this is uh, laggier than normal. Right, who's taking over what? All right, that's these guys. What are the odds I could sneak in and attack these guys? Probably pretty low. Uh, beta detection, that's all that matters. Okay, we got rapid energy recharge. Let's uh, keep going ham on these guys and steal everything they got. Uh, all right, Kalan Cooperative. Okay, that should be good. Take a look at the uh, fleet construction here. I think I want to build more ships. Well, let's look at what's currently being constructed. Looks like a fair amount. These guys are repairing. These ships not in a fleet, just these two fuel ships. So lots of repairs queued up, it looks like, more than anything. Hey, we got a breakthrough on desert colonization. So that should happen a little quicker. That's over here. I really need to get a fleet big enough to challenge these hive guys. Even if I could just take one out at a time. I, I got four or five that have been harassing me this entire game so far it's really holding me back in addition to getting sandwiched by these guys losing these two planets was brutal that that's like almost double our population if we hadn't lost those all right energy research labs or energy mega labs stolen toggle back to our good buddies here and keep stealing every ounce of tech they have oh we must have gotten a spy uh captured let's take a look all right speak with them no what happened to the spy 
Oh, an existing spy. Okay, was promoted. Got it. That makes sense. Kind of sucks I lost the spy. I think he was one of my better spies, too. All right, let's take a quick gander at the old economy. Private sector is improving. Slowly, very slowly, but surely. Is there any benefit to my colonies here? Is there any more that are in cash flow positive that I can build something on no looks like i just gotta wait for these populations to grow okay construction mega labs i feel like that's gotta go all right i'm kind of feeling like uh let's see limited biome shaping facility how's that different from this this improves up to 10 percent, and it's cheaper let's go ahead and build that i know it'll, i mean we're already in the negative what's uh what's spending more money i don't have but if we can improve the quality of this planet it'll help our cash flow in the long run so we'll go ahead and do that for now let's send our spy on another mission i kind of hate to waste spying on this stuff but we'll get around to it once we run out of text and we can't we'll, we'll see if we can spy anything or steal from anybody else at a reasonable rate all right how's our fleet coming along still bottlenecked on the repair Looks like some of these ships are still uh, working their way over to our home system here. They're not even there yet. Right, let's go ahead and sign a mission. High tech specialization detected, but we successfully carried out the mission, so that's all that matters. I don't really care if they detect me. They de detected me a thousand times already. Uh, you know, we'll go after resilient assault pods. Save the uh, high. Uh, lower risk tax for um our low our really low end spy hey we're creeping up on desert colonization here be really nice to get that done it might open up some new planets for us to colonize not that we should be doing a lot of uh colonization right now that's way out of there hey research breakthrough all right is there anything let's see distance from capital Let's select this planet. Uh oh. Well, the game unfortunately crashed, so I gotta pick up where, wherever it left off with an autosave. But we'll uh, keep plodding along here. It looks like shortly after that was stolen. I think what I wanted to do was check the, uh, click on this planet, and then, well, let let me let me send this spy first. I gotta keep picking stuff away from the Callan Cooperative. We're doing that. Already doing the construction mega labs. Do resilient assault pods. Okay, what I wanted to do was click on this planet and then look for new colonies that are based off of distance. And then scroll through this list and see if there's anything remotely colonizable. We're looking for plus 20. That's the nearest one. Is all the way over here. And that's not even within colonizable range that, that one's down there so if we could find one somewhere in between there that's really low we could do this one and that would let us hop over to there it's, it's a bad one but it would bridge the only downside is it gets us close to these guys and these guys are gonna be i don't want them going to war with me i already have to deal with all this nonsense over here i guess we'll see how that pans out I don't think I've tried to steal anything from these guys. Let's take a quick gander at them. Their reputation's good. They're neutral with us. They're not angry. Oh, these guys are angry with each other. That's kind of nice. So is there any chance I can become friendly with these guys? Well, I certainly don't want to do any of that. Right, is there anything I can do to make them happier? I can give them my galaxy map. That's way too much money. I don't want to send them that. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how that shakes out. Okay. Advanced ion point defense. Let's go back to stealing more of that. Yeah, that's probably the best thing to steal. Looks like we just got a construction mega labs and the high high tech specialization. So this list is getting smaller and smaller as we go along. Guess improved missiles is fine. 91%. I'm hoping desert colonization helps beef up our economy a little bit. Uh, by increasing the quality of the the existing colonies we have. 
let's go ahead and build this limited biome shaping facility. I did that last. I think we should also build this because it gives extra colony development and this is our best planet. Why are there Naxilians on this planet? They should not be on here. None of these should be on here. Oh, I think I might have that set to automatically adjust my population policy, which is probably bad because it seems to be making bad decisions. Oh, we got a rebellion. That's not good. And it's going to win. Well, that is very unfortunate. We're going to have to take back this planet and probably rebuild this, which is also bad. One of our bigger planets is this one here. All right, let's take a look at our fleet. Still doing repairs. Doesn't have any troops on board, but I think we are building troops on the planet. We are. Well, we have troops here. So we might mount up and go capture that back. It is a little unfortunate we did have a, a rebellion that time around after reloading the save. But I guess it is what it is. We'll just have to deal with it. All right, we're about to get desert colonization. All right. That lowered the quality threshold. Has that changed anything for us in here? Maybe. Take a quick uh, quick gander. All right, we're doing distance from capital. It's 19, which is pretty good. That's yeah, way up there. You're way over there. That ain't happening. Still not seeing anything too great. Wow, that's all the way over there. Okay, so no, there is nothing. All right, so we're going to have to capture this back, which is unfortunate. Load up troops. Do we not have any troop transports left now? No, it says there's 160,000 capacity. Why do you want to build a colony ship? We don't have anything to colonize. All right, well, I feel like a lot of this is just going to be waiting for now. Let's see what other research projects we have that we could queue up. There's a lot of time on, on these. I guess we'll just push for more colonization. Just try to maximize what we can. Is there anything else we can quickly discover? I guess we can knock these out real quick. Let's go ahead and do those just to finish them. Get them off the list. That way they're not getting in the way of uh, what else we could steal. And then I think we're stealing most of these. I don't know if long range beams was in that list. I know improved missiles was. I mean, it's going to take forever, but I almost feel like we should plot along with our um, specialty ships or our specialty tech. 93 years to research. Yeah, no way that ain't going to happen. We could start large scale construction too. Just have that in the in the hopper. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a research breakthrough. All right, improved missiles was stolen. Steal that. Get that out of the way. All right, we are actually creeping towards positive cash flow. Okay, evaded detection. That's great. All right, we got to put you on the riskiest options, which is actually this one. Yes. All right, we'll just keep moving along there too. So nobody's nobody is stealing the robotic troops right now. Maybe I should. That was like really far along. Maybe I should just add that to the to the queue. Yeah, it's 500 credits. I could just dump that in the queue and be done with it in 14 days. Yes, I think that's that's worth doing. Get that out of the way. Oh, we did found a, a new exactly the type of planet my uh, species normally would go on. That's all right. Where's grasslands? We'll get people off of it. That was just a bridge to get us to another planet over here. Yeah, this is where we want to go. I think we could get there. Somebody's got a mining station there, but I think we can colonize that. Let's go ahead and build a colony ship. I actually will do what they're recommending there. It would be good to get that. I'm already building one. I don't need to build a second one. That'll let us hop to that. And then I think that's about all we're going to be able to colonize. That'll put us at 18 colonies. And then at that point, we just have to save up. Hey, we had a breakthrough early on. That's great. So that's a crash research for ice colonization. We're dangerously flirting with positive cash flow here. Ah, uh, oh no. That already rebelled? What the heck? So are we still going to be able to get to this planet over here? I don't know. 
We are very close to being positive cash for the first time in a very long time. It would be really nice to get there. I'm going to see if it'll do it because I already queued it up. Be curious to see if that works, even though the that planet rebelled. I don't know why it rebelled, though. All right, do I want to move anywhere else? We're kind of running out of text to steal. And this is one of the better ones. We, ah, we could steal all these. I like that. Improved cruisers would be nice. All right, so I'll leave that ambassador placed at the Burning Outlaws, and we will just keep uh, stealing from them going forward and just filling all these uh, tech gaps, at least as much as we can. I mean, if we can't actually produce the tech, we might as well steal it. I don't know why that planet rebelled. It didn't seem like it was that bad. Uh, you know, no. I don't think I'm going to do that. Oh, they're they're taking stuff over here. It's interesting. Well, let them let them fight over there. How is my fleet coming along? Is it still repairing? Okay, you got a lot of work to do still. Well, you can, you can go to the burning outlaws. You're you're a higher higher skill. Right, what is going to provide me the most value? Let's take a quick gander at our fleet. Still doing a lot of repairing. I think there's still a lot of stuff stuck in the queue. We are positive cash flow for the first time in like forever. That's amazing. And then we get spammed with a bunch of uh, stuff under attack. Uh, okay, it's still just building stuff. Trying to upgrade this uh, spaceport as well. So how much is in the queue here? A lot. It's going to take a long time. All right, these weaker guys, I think we could still continue to steal, go to advanced turret. And you, I'm going to do a, uh, I think I'm going to do an internal stabilization. And that'll get me, you know, a little, little buy me like two years of bonus um, income and stability. So it, it's nice to actually see something positive for once. Although it's like very barely positive. Hey, 10% income boost. I'll take that. So are we actually seeing any of that going into colony growth now? That would be really nice. Nothing yet. I don't think I want to actually reserve any of my cash. Not that there's a ton going into that, but... All right. Burning Outlaws, we're just going to go for improved cruisers again. That private sector economy, I think, is getting pretty destroyed again I, it's going up by a fair amount but it's just been solidly under attack these ships just keep getting blown up and having to rebuild yeah i don't want to do any of that what i can do is start building on some of these spaceports here build some destroyers some frigates just something to beef up my uh military a little bit now that we are uh creeping near the positive let me uh let me change the setting real quick because I do not think I want my uh funding levels to be automatic. I I don't like reserving anything. I'd rather that money be put into directly into colony growth and research. Right now colony growth is what we need more than anything. So I'm going to put that at like 80%. Not that I think it's going to help that much, but it does make a pretty substantial difference. Okay, let's go back to stealing from the Burning Outlaws again. Let's go large-scale passenger transports. And I know that's not leaving me any any money, which is fine. Like, right now, the investment has to be in growing my population. There we go. Internal stabilization. More income going into colony growth, which is great. Space Traders Guild. Okay. Oh, it wants me to build all sorts of stuff now. Uh, I don't know if I really want a troop cloning facility. The defense setting, yes, I could understand that because we might want to have, or we might be fighting against some enemies at some point where that's going to be necessary. Uh, did we finish building that terraforming facility, by the way? It's, it's terraforming right now. So how much is that helping my economy? A fair amount. So maybe we should look at doing that on this planet as well. I mean, we have a little bit of money to play with, so let's go ahead and sink sink some of the cash into that. At least while we're still building up. No, don't want to do any of that. 
So now that we're cash positive, it wants to tell me to build all sorts of stuff. It's going to try to bankrupt me. Uh, ship's not in a fleet. I think all of these are going to be added to the second fleet. Just to uh, beef up that fleet as much as possible. I'd like to get to double the strength of one of those uh, enemies before doing anything uh, with that. Just the hive ships, I want to be able to like be comfortable in taking them out and not just get immediately rolled by them. Although that may very well be what happens. We'll, we'll see. But if I can get to like 100k and then go in there, I'm going to feel a lot better about... Even if half of them get destroyed, I'll feel a lot better about it. All right, Burning Outlaws captured. That's never good. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. All right, Burning Outlaws... I want to negotiate a deal to get my spy back and I will give you, Oh, we got a lot to trade. Let's start with contacting all sorts of people and then we'll give you a bunch of useless, at least useless to you, but it still provides value. All right. My spy did not get a negative modifier, which is fantastic. We're going to go right back towards improved cruisers and you guys are lower. So let's, Let's try to finish stealing everything that we can from these guys. Build up your skills in the meantime. Hold regeneration. All right, we're about to get ice colonization done. That'll be nice. I think that'll help with the money. We'll have to recheck the, uh, the planets available and see if that there's any benefit there. All right, ice colonization is done. All right, we're not quite cash positive here, but we're we're creeping in that direction very slowly now the question is are there any ice planets that are now in range you are all the way down here now if we had oh don't tell me you're coming after this so if i take this planet back well let's take a look at the independent colonies let's do a restricted trade agreement there you i'm taking over we already have a restricted trade agreement with you where are you at you're probably nowhere near me do I even see you? Yeah, you are you were just taken back. There's no way. Oh, you're all the way up here. Yeah, I'm not messing with that. You could be somebody else's problem. All right, so you I want to take back, and then I can use you to hop over here if they don't colonize in the meantime. And this Akonish planet, I just want back under my control. A uh, new pirate faction. Okay, that's fine. I will decline on that because that's too much. Okay, I think we are creeping towards positivity here. Is this almost done building this? This is taking forever to build this. Yeah, look at how long that's taking. Well, in the meantime, we're going to do a little bit of that. We'll do a little bit of that. And that should, by the time those two are done, we should have something resembling a... Uh, a comp a, a, like a, a a decently competitive fleet that we can actually go after um one of the hive ships with all right we, we stole passenger compartments which is great did we lose one of our guys or and we went down to four right yeah so that's that's normal okay so burning out laws for you heavy installations hmm special ops would be good for invading now we're back in the negatives, but that's all right. I can live with that. We'll get back in the positive soon enough. Yeah, more and more stuff is turning cash positive here, so that's good. Oh, we did get improved cruisers. All right. That's very nice. All right, let's see. Attack fighters. A, a lot of the fleets are based off of carriers. So getting better fighters is going to make a pretty significant difference in overall performance of the fleet. Right now, I'm just shoving everything into a single fleet, but, um, you know, ultimately I'll, I'll want to put things into other fleets, but I just want one decently powerful fleet that I can send somewhere and just have it attack. We have to keep an eye on this. Um, oh, are you going to be able to reach that? Oh, it's, oh, it's right up here. Okay. Wait, so do we have more stuff available than I thought? All right, we're going to do distance from capital. That's actually... Oh, wait. Did that rebel back to us? I must have missed that. How did that get back under our control? I mean, I'll take it. 
and I will also take this planet while I'm at it. When did that happen? I totally missed that. It's pretty great. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, new colony ship is done. Oh boy, these guys got beef here. 138,000, huh? That is much stronger than I am. They've got Titan blasters already? Wow. Well, they hit the upgrade button, that's for sure. Well, we'll just keep taking what we can. I do want to recapture this ultimately, but I don't know what happened to flip this back under my control, but I will take it. So we're back to waiting to see this get constructed. New battleship is completed. I think it, I think it was already added to the fleet, so we're fine. Same with that carrier. Oh, mission completed, but exposed. That's fine. You can be exposed all you want. All right, burning outlaws. Do more research. And I think we're going to go uh, go for special ops again. And then these guys, I think we're kind of running out of tech over here. Planetary Palace. Oh, we're going to steal what we can. All right, spaceports are being built. We are back to being cash negative, but uh, for a brief moment, we enjoyed being cash positive. Like it was a, uh, it was a nice little moment. I don't want to like waste the time going through the message log and, and figuring out what happened here and how that flipped back under my control, but I'll just happily take it. It'd be nice to get this one back under my control. That would like double our population. All right, attack fighters. Definitely want to get that. <laughs> Stolen as much as possible, that would make a huge difference on my uh, offensive. All right, creeping towards that 100k mark where I want to be. So how many ships are in this? 25 ships. So these must all be bigger ships. Yeah, lots of battle cruisers. All right, we got more spaceports churning out. I just want to construct wherever I can. Are we able to actually look at this planet and see... Like, how happy or unhappy they are. Hey, we got a new planet over here. It is a desert planet. Let's make sure to apply our population template. They don't want any uh, others accidentally colonizing there like they have here. Yeah, just, just Daewood is fine. I will build the planetary administration and a limited biome. Although the biome thing probably should wait until we are uh, more positive on that planet. I'm going to do the biome here as well. That's our third best planet. It'd be nice to get that done. Now, is it just stay 5,000 credits per year forever? Or is it like the terraforming facility where once it's done, you can disassemble it? I guess we will find out over time. Oh, yeah. I wanted to figure out what was going on in this planet. So they're not like super unhappy. Uh-oh. Please tell me it's not going to crash again. Okay, now I popped it popped out of it. So I was what I was trying to figure out is how unhappy they are. I'm hoping maybe I can get them to come over to us at some point in the near future. But we'll see. Alright, we got a new spy. Planetary palace. Rapid hole regeneration. Okay, we got the 25 attack strength. Okay, let's keep going over here. And I think what we want to steal from here. Hmm. What should be next on our list? I don't want to do anything too risky. We'll just keep going after attack fighters, I guess. And these lower guys, I just want to keep getting the easy tech. Ah, uh, he might actually steal that, so let's not do that. Hey, we caught one of their spies. Nice. All right, well, we're getting ourselves deeply into the red again, so I should probably lay off on the construction of too much stuff but at this point i just gotta um i gotta you know just wait it out i think one of the things i want to figure out in the next uh before the next episode is why um something something is like just destroying the performance here so maybe maybe i can dig into that a little bit maybe some encoding settings or, or whatnot all right well i th i think we can call it an episode there i, I would say this is been a fairly successful episode i did have a rebellion on my hands which was a little unfortunate and we did lose two planets but there is a possibility of getting one back fairly easily into the fold 
we got one planet flipped back to us automatically and we did colonize another planet over here uh and then we have this planet which you know right now is pretty undefended and i'm thinking once my fleet is done i'll roll down here clean out this hive ship and then roll over here and take take uh take this planet back and then we'll just kind of work our way around clearing out all these hive ships our population is up to uh almost up to 30 now which is way better than it was we were cash positive for a brief period of time this episode which is uh probably a first for this series which is great uh so i think we're all moving in the right direction it's just a slow progress uh, i am concerned about how powerful these guys are now uh they are they seem to be way more powerful than me all of a sudden so definitely concerning but we will uh, we'll have to figure that out uh, in the next episode. So thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, see more content in the future. We'll catch you in the next one.